What's up YouTube, Dylan here today and I'm here to talk about the two after credit scenes for Thor Ragnarok. And if the title wasn't clear enough, spoilers ahead. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first scene is a tie into Avengers Infinity War. The scene begins with Thor and Loki trying to figure out where they can take the remaining citizens of Asgard who have taken refuge on the Grandmaster's ship. Because Asgard got f***ed up. The brothers settle on Earth being their final destination, even though Loki doesn't think it's a good idea. You know, seeing that Loki did try to take over the planet in the Avengers and killed a lot of people in the process. Seconds later, a gigantic ship appears in front of them, and the screen fades to black. Now this giant ship could possibly be one of Thanos' vessels that ends up destroying the Grandmaster ship, Star Trek style. Get it, because Chris Hemsworth was in the Star Trek reboot and his ship got blown up. SHUT UP NERD! Which could lead to Thor being discovered by the Guardians of the Galaxy, and Loki teaming up with Thanos again to provide the Mad Titan with a Tesseract to assemble the Infinity Gauntlet. Which were moments that did happen in the Infinity War trailer during Comic Con and D23. The second after credit scene deals with the Grandmaster's fate which is a lot more humorous as it takes place on Sakaar and shows the aftermath of the revolt against the Grand Master. He's been held up on one of the planet's many dumping grounds in a crashed ship and is quickly confronted by his people. The Grand Master attempts to talk his way out of getting into any more trouble by trying to take credit for the revolution, but it's clear the Grand Master is not going to have a happy ending. So in a way, this scene is quite similar to the one in Guardians of the Galaxy where we witness the aftermath of the Collector's Museum, but unlike the Grand Master, the Collector gets off easy with a lick from Cosmo and the best cameo in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But d x what happened to the Hulk? I don't know, he's probably hanging out with Doctor Strange or something, who knows. And there you have it guys, those are the after credit scenes for Thor Ragnarok. What are your thoughts on these details? Did they get you hyped for Infinity War? And does this make you want to see Thor Ragnarok even more when it comes out next week? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, it really helps me out. And subscribe for more content of me on Thor Ragnarok and other films in general. I'm d i I'll see you in the future.